Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of Binding of Isaac After Earth Plus. I think we're going to do a Keeper run today. Most of my Keeper runs have been glorious, and I've been an idiot and squandered them, but... It's a bereft posted note, man. Sorry, I got a burp in my throat at the slip top. Okay. We can do anything. We can do... Boss Rush, Hush, Mega Satan, Delirium, Negative, Polaroid. Most of all, we gotta survive. Let's see what we get right off the bat. Oh my god! Well, Blood Rites is bad unless we get like Swallowed Penny on this floor, in which case I'm, ama I'm imagining it's amazing. Um, SC, 6G, 0V, PP. What's the game plan? You know the game plan. You know the game and how it goes. We're trying to get shows. And by chose, I mean blow this guy up and give a swallowed penny immediately. No such luck. Glad I didn't waste a bomb to do it at the very least. Probably a secret room there. Really, I think I'm gonna like dedicate my life in this game to getting swallowed penny on the first two floors. Petrified poop, it's something. There's a lot of decent stuff, but swallowed penny basically wins us the game. On a previous keeper run, I uh, ignored the piggy bank as the keeper. A lot of people were upset about that. You know what? You were correct. Brief uh, connection to the Isaac database that has been permanently ooh, forged in my brain was uh, interrupted. As a result, I made a mistake, and it was, uh, it was a costly one, unfortunately. Please be a second secret room. Not a second secret room. However, enough money to maybe give us an arcade on the next floor. Couple of extra keys. Ended up being well worth it. We're looking for, like, a lot of bombs. And then, you know, pots we could blow... Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Pots we could blow up to uh, give ourselves a, a great chance here. We can get into the shop for free. Many bombs. Shall we? I mean, like, it's a bit of an ask. But we might get real lucky. I think two pots for a single bomb is, like, the bare minimum I'll go. In terms of trying to get, like, some derived value. Wow! It turns out I'm just an idiot. Made a pretty colossal mistake right there. That's probably our secret room. Um, may indeed, especially as we come to the end of this floor, might be worth heading in there just to see. There's oftentimes money. No money. At least not yet. I'd really rather not use my Swallowed Penny here. I'd rather use... Oh, he's done it. So for five cents, we could buy a bomb. And we would use this bomb to blow up the secret room shopkeeper and try to get five cents. I don't think that's a good decision. Could give us zero. Might be able to give us a dime. But I think it's much more likely to give us zero than a dime. I think we'll just... Keep ourselves, you know, abreast of the chance to get a blood bank on the next floor. We'll ignore blood rights. Very, very outside chance of, like, a swallowed penny showing up right here. If we get, uh, like, Cracker Jacks. Or, alternatively, and possibly even better, actually, would be, uh, the box. Get a little of every consumable to go along with it. Because we can't do anything with the HP from Cracker Jacks. Matchbook. Pretty bad. We'll take the bombs. No, we won't! <laughs> wow, that was a slap in the face. Hmm. Two keys to open that room. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm probably going to go to my item room first, as it's got a chance to actually be good. Spider bite's okay here. I mean, it's, it's always better than okay. I should just say Spider Bite is good. Assuming, yeah, yeah, some of our shots do get imbued with it, so. Um, we do want to take the nickel that's back there, but we want to make sure we don't need the money at any point here. So let's check our shop. Ooh, two pennies that are also luck upgrades. So car battery is almost a must-buy. And we do have enough money. It just doesn't look like it because we haven't picked up the nickel that's... Uh, back there yet. Um, we don't... Like, there are better items, but this is one of the ones that's, like, good enough to give us a ton of value. So we gotta go for it. Absolutely. That's no good.
That's pretty good. Uh, let's head back here because we got actually big plays manifesting now. We do have a bomb. Let's use it like here. Gave us a key. And then three cents. That's a decent trade. That's a value add. I can live with that. You got to remember, uh, Tinted Rocks are not as good in uh, runs where you're playing as the Keeper because you can't do anything with the Spirit Hearts. So one key for two keys. One key for many keys now. And, you know, we got some money out of it as well. That one just had uh, Red Hearts in it, I guess, because we got Flies. But now we're at 24 cents. Still no bombs, but 24 cents. We'll go buy Car Battery. And then every time we use... Wooden Nickel, we'll get two plays out of it. Here's what I'm thinking. Buy a bomb. You're going to say it's a waste of money. You wouldn't necessarily be wrong. Blow this up. Grab... The Nickel. Turn that into... I wanted to turn two cents into bombs. It ended up being kind of a botch. Um, we still have to deal with the Devil Chance. Oh! As if on cue. We squandered it. I do want that luck upgrade. I also want pictures of Spider-Man. If you could have them on my desk by four, that would be great. It's a new character I'm trying out. His, his, his name is Benevolent J. Jonah Jameson. It's like a J. Jonah Jameson type character, in case you didn't realize. Um, but he's like, he gets it. He's like, hey, you know, where are those pictures of Spider-Man I asked for? And you're like, oh, sorry, I had a big physics project due. I'm not sure if you heard, but I'm up for the Nobel Prize this year. And he goes, you know what? That's good. This photography job, probably not going to be forever for you. Focus on what matters, kid. You can have those pictures on my desk at your leisure. And you say, oh, thanks, Mr. Jameson. I just think it would be, like, better for him as a boss, you know? Have they done... I know they haven't because I've seen Spider-Man Homecoming and I liked it, but J. Jonah Jameson is not in it. If they do J. Jonah Jameson in a Spider-Man reboot at any point in the future, he's got to be, like, the CEO of TMZ or something like that, right? Because that dude would not be in print media in 2017. Just doesn't make sense. Tears up. Very good, actually. Okay, so we had some good, we had some bad on this floor. The great news is uh, car battery. Tears upgrade, nothing to sneeze at either. But the great news is car battery. So now we should have a much better chance of... Uh, well, it immediately proves its value. <laughs> we should have a much better chance of... Uh, getting stacked on any given run. What am I going to do here? I'm going to be a genius. He's done it. Should we have done that? No! That was stupid. That was obviously dumb. Was it worth it? I, in no circumstance. No, it was, it was idiotic. That being said, we're still alive. And to some extent, who dares wins? You know what? That might have saved me from getting a deal with the devil. Come on. That might have saved me from getting a deal with the devil. Which might have led to me taking something I shouldn't have taken. So who knows? Maybe, just maybe, going to that cursed room saved the whole run. I'm starting to believe that there's a chance car battery just doesn't work for us with a wooden nickel. Wow. Which would obviously not be the best news. Considering that's pretty much mission critical for us to have any chance at all of success, but any extended chance of success, shall we say. Because I have not had a payout of two uh, cents yet. Two, you know, disparate and unique coins. They don't have to be unique, just two, two coins that are not one coin. <laughs> don't take that pill. It's a bad idea. Ghost baby. It's not a good pickup. Uh, I'm offended. Rest assured, I will be speaking with my attorney to talk about the indignity that I've faced here. You know how much Isaac I've played in my life? Out of the goodness of my heart and nothing else. And you have the cojones to give me Ghost Baby? What a slap in the face. Yo, where is my car battery payout? It's like the Black Eyed Peas song. No, 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 don't funk with my car battery. You're funking with my car battery right now. I don't respect it or you. I figured I'd take it. Bad trip couldn't have existed anymore. Health down still could have, so it still could have gone real bad, but. All right, restock, good enough. Trinket smelter, 
Also good. Not necessary. Essentially, uh... Early game Trinket Smelter. Well, not early game, sorry. But, like, uh, Keeper Trinket Smelter is, uh... Mom's Purse. Unless we can get multiple battery charges. We can smelt our luck upgrade. That's not bad. It's not quite super amazing. It's Caves 1, right? Caves 1, okay. Shouldn't try it. Obviously, I'm gonna. 0 0.73 speed is pretty close. Yeah, okay. This, we got two coins! It works! The system works! Alright, with money... We, I, first off, we shouldn't have picked that up. But with money, we probably should buy Trinket Smelter, right? Allows us to hold a luck upgrade plus something else? It's really the something else that interests me the most. I wouldn't, under most circumstances, would not have taken that. But I thought to myself, What a wonderful world! No, I thought to myself, uh, Self, you're wicked slow right now. Having any form of creep. Probably pretty useful. Um, so we're being, obviously, like a little bit more aggressive than you might like here. Shouldn't have used that yet. That's okay, though. So car battery does work. It either just works terribly or my luck's been a little off. We're gonna try to do everything on this floor, because if we can get enough money to buy Hive Mind, I'm not saying it's a 10 out of 10. But I think that there's a chance it could be. Oh, look who's talking. The chance we could derive more value than expected out of this. You know, these are shop items that are not really uh, typically keeper staples, but we gotta give it a try. And what do, what do we stand to lose at this point? We're already... This run is a loss. Is there a win nestled inside of it? Perhaps. But we gotta make that come to fruition. Gotta be very careful because... One HP could be the difference between life and death. Well, no. One HP could be the difference between Hive Mind and No Hive Mind. Which in and of itself is very unlikely to be the difference between life and death. But... Secret room. Potentially. Let's take a chance. Oh, that hurts. Well, we, no, 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 no. we still have a couple of outs here. Two bombs. Two extra cents. Three cents. We need one more penny. We have bombs. We could blow up the donation machine. Is it worth it for a hive mind? Or should we save our money and hope to get an arcade? That kind of seems like the better play. The only thing I will say is that, uh, well, first off, why not both? Why don't we buy Hive Mind and blow up the donation machine to get as much money as we need? Wow, okay. We're gonna buy Hive Mind, because the game is good. 30 cents. Uh, yeah, that's very solid. But what I want to say is Hive Mind, if we have anything that gives us red hearts, all of a sudden Hive Mind gives us really really potent flies every time that goes off so i think this is worth going for here we'll grab hive mind we'll grab bff next item is the coupon not what we want so we'll blow this up get enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor now do we have a win no it's still like kind of bad this run is still not great have you seen our speed stat i don't know if i've mentioned that enough it's horrible. Thank you. We don't want coupon. Even though it could give us the free item that gets spawned after we purchase coupon. Instead, we want um, to go to the shop on the next floor, which we'll probably do immediately. Because let's face it, we're not making boss rush. So, uh, let's go to the shop. Probably shouldn't have done that, huh? It's a two of hearts. It's not bad, but not what we were looking for. This is a trinket that actually is very nice for us, because we are going to be generating pennies quite a lot. We do want to go to our item room. I would love to skip it. You know I love, you know, not doing my due diligence in this game. But only when I have a productive excuse for it. 
See, that's hive mind right there. Is it worth the 15 cents we spent on it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it certainly feels like it right now as we're like dream crushing this enemy. Probably thought he had a decent chance considering, you know, the stats I was walking in here with. We we're very, very lucky. That was a 9% roll. Or are we? Yeah, we are. So with restock, we have the luxury of, of pretty much being able to uh, buy items just to mill them out of existence. Was that a little scary? Yeah, yeah, it was. A little, I, I was scared for a second there. Like we can buy a red candle and, and take it out of the game and then see if we get something else from that shop because we got a long floor ahead of us. It's going to be a long run. We can also blow up our donation machine as much as they'll let us, which is usually, you know, as much as... You know, it, your mileage may vary, but, you know, they'll, they'll let us do it basically forever, I think. It's not like the donation machine ever pops, I think. It's the limits of your own self-control. Okay, that's very good. I don't know if it's our newfound, like, decent luck stat working out for us here, but... I'm loving the way this is working. We're back up to 15 cents. Do we want broken stopwatch? Probably not. Should we be buying things from the shop? Probably not. I only say that because uh, it does make way more sense to just buy things you would like anyway on the next floor, but... Ah, you know, live a little. Crystal ball. A lot of active items I do not care about, man. So the hero font, it's just a bunch of flies. I've always said that. I'm going to use them anyway. The high Keep exploring. So we're trying to, you know, we might replace Burnt Penny at some point. As of right now, it's a nice trinket. 10 out of 10? Nah. But it's 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 not really close, but it's, like, good. Uh, just trying to, like, hope that maybe we somehow get 10 dimes and all of a sudden I have the luxury of buying out the shop. The risk is that the next shop could contain greed. In all likelihood... One of the next two shops will not contain greed, and we can just spend all of our money there, but... You know, we're also... We have the potentiality of a, uh... Blood bank existing somewhere here. We also have the potentiality of dying on one of these rooms that is unessential, or inessential, I should say. You never... You don't hear unessential that often. It's usually essential. You know, you ever buy a Greatest Hits album from a band. It's like, the Inessential Doobie Brothers. You're like, nah. It's always Essential Doobie Brothers. I want to hear what a fool believes. Okay. Good. I think, like, we don't want chaos. And by chaos, I mean the latter. No, we don't want chaos because... Oh, we can do this. Wow, we actually, like, almost fulfilled our dream here. Um, two of the same pill, so we can pop off. What, there wasn't two of the same pill? I'm going blind. Um, plenty of bombs. 41 cents. I think we'll just leave this floor. Um, we don't want chaos because the shop pool is perfect for us. We want shop items. We want mapping. We want champion belt. It's the wrong direction. We want piggy bank. Hate this. Stop. No. Okay, we're fine. Um, but I don't think it's the right idea. I should not be standing here. I don't think it's the right idea to buy out the shop full of garbage. Like, we don't want red candle. We don't want jar of flies. They're not garbage. It's a, a pejorative I should not be using for some good items. We don't want them. They're just, they don't fit the, the brand of our current run. They don't fit our company culture. Batteries? No batteries. So we'll just save our money for a future shop. And you'll forgive me, hopefully, for perhaps going deeper on that point than I need to, but... Don't know if we should do this. 
<laughs> You'll forgive me for going deeper on that point that we probably need to, but what we buy from the shop here might determine who, you know, where this run ends up. Who our keeper turns into at the very end of things. We don't want to, we probably won't, but we don't want to accidentally trigger the uh, angel wave. This could be a secret room. So we've spent an ungodly amount of time on this floor. Just a little bit longer, I promise, and we got this under control. Not under control, but like, the, we've done the best we conceivably could have. I really would love a magic mush pickup. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. We should not be taking these pills, like... It's not gonna lead to success for us. All we need is one horrible pill and all of a sudden it's uh, it was a really awful decision for us to make. I do not remember where we are on this floor at all. I believe this is the path to get back to the boss room. This is shop? Yeah, this is the shop here. Okay, so grab this hero font. It's just a bunch of flies. Let's get out of here. I am done with this floor. I don't want to see it anymore. We spent too much time here. Curse of the Lost again. Thank you. It's my favorite curse. How did you know? It's not my favorite curse. I'm hoping for a little bit of like reverse psychology action here. Perks. Not necessary right now. We're hitting some frame rate dips. I don't know what's going on with that. We can afford to do that, I think. I actually just, you know, probably Bitcoin mining going on the background of my PC or something. Because I've used CBS online in the past 10 years. Um, let, let me get over to that side, please. Thank you. Dang, cryptocurrency miners. Why can't you be more like old gold prospectors and just exist exclusively in the 1992 video game Mad Dog McCree? Yeah, we don't need that bomb. We got infinite bombs. Just being distributed very, very slowly. I want to fight any more chubs for the remainder of the game, please. I mean, we got a formula. The formula is very simple. It boils down to don't get hit more than twice per room. Collect as much money as possible. And if we get a dream shop, moreover, actually, if we get a steam sale, we are living the high life. Now, we probably are not going to make it to the hush fight. I'm not sure if you've noticed. This run is very, very slow. Just, please, my son, he is very not fast. If we get... Ooh. If we get very lucky, maybe. It would have to be like a incredible deal with the devil or something like that. Or just a, an awesome item room would do it, I suppose. Uh, or about 12 great shop items. But we're not living that life yet. I don't think we should worry about it. I think we should worry about knocking out the chest if possible. And if the world, you know, acquiesces us the chance... Perhaps a delirium play, but everything else we're going to be too slow for. You know what I would love to see from the shop? Black candle. I just put that on my vision board so I never have to deal with this jank curse ever again. How did we get the whole way to the boss room without seeing a single special room? I didn't even know that was... Plausible in today's modern Isaac ecosystem. What am I holding perks for, dude? Holding perks sounds like a catcher in the rye character. You remain dusted. Please give me a deal and an HP upgrade. That's an HP upgrade, but I don't see a deal. You can tell I've been recording too long when I turn into Jack Nicholson for a video. What do you mean you turn into me? I don't even understand what YouTube is. Okay? 
I don't know what that's supposed to be. Sure. For 15 cents, give me a random shop item. Oh my god, it's Black Candle. So I'm just thinking, at this point, mill these items out of existence. PhD, great item. See you later. See you never. Balls of Steel. How many different ways can they give us a bunch of uh, freaking blue flies? We now can see where we're going. Okay, there was one room we missed. That must lead to our item room. My thinking right now... Wow, it's, we've missed a lot of floor, actually. Shouldn't have stood there. Stop! My thinking right now... Just continue to be smart. Be slow. And look both ways before you go. Be smart. Be slow. Look both ways before you go. There we go. No, get out of here. Oh, never mind. Thanks for sticking around. Magic mush. Chant it. Ah. I still believe. I want to, like, trade HP somehow. <laughs> it's not going to do anything for me now. That, but I just don't want to pick up that, like... That item without getting anything out of it, you know? Like, it wasn't Magic Scab, which is even a luck upgrade. It's a freaking dog food, dude. It's like the purest of pure HP upgrades. What am I going to do with that? We got max HP. We need a Joker card or something. Oh, close. This is going to be a long one. I can already tell, based on the fact that it's long. It's a little bit of Canadian humor for you. Don't wanna be a Canadian comedian. Da -da 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 A Michael McDonald, Russell Peters, and Jim Carrey. There are many Canadian comedians. Don't forget about Mike Myers also. TJ Miller just joking, he's American. Do -do -do -do. My God. There's too many big rooms. This is ridiculous. It's like Little Keeper Big World. It's taking too long. Look at the size of this floor. We're not even done. Look at the size of this floor. This is the depths one. Let that stew for a little bit while you think about it. I don't even know if I want to open that. Like, I'm going to approach madness and peer off the edge. It's another active item. Obviously, we don't want to roll that. Um, well, I guess we're leaving. 26 minutes to get through the depths one. It's a pretty bad sign of things to come. Do we have anything useful in our shop in there or are we just out? I think we're gone. I'm just worried because the next floor like genuinely could have the keeper. You're gonna potentially say, NL, why not get starter deck? Well, the reason is because we have pH. D. I was going to say PHP, which is a sign that I've gone way too far down the wrong road. Um, we, we have PHD. So I want to get tears up, speed up, anything along these lines. Wow, just a god-awful start here. I'm not throwing, at least not on purpose. Oh my god, the shot speed on these guys is, is too high. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it, okay. Save me. Thank you. These? These frames. Should have saved one charge. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Um, and you can, you can backseat this keeper run all you want. Why are you so framey? You can backseat this keeper run all you want, but... I know you. I don't actually, but I'm going to pretend that I do for the purposes of this examination. 
Anybody plays this run doesn't have YouTube on them, they're hitting R as soon as they get to like the caves one. Don't give me that. I'm turning gravel into gold nuggets. And there's a metaphor for life in there somewhere, but I'm way too distracted by just trying to survive to try to get that out of there right now. Please God. What do we need here? We should use bombs much more frequently. What we actually need here is uh, not really to play better. I think we're playing adequately. Not necessarily 10 out of 10, but adequately. We need a shop for the ages. You know, just like that Def Leppard song. Shop of ages. I don't know any of the other words. You will not. Second secret room, please. I'm talking, we need to buy out the stock. We need to go on a Toys R Us supermarket sweep shopping spree. Hands on the shelf. Pull it all down. Just letting it all hang out. Well, we've covered the uh, starboard side. Let's see what the left side has to, or the right side has to offer. Again, bombs. Don't fear the bombs. You embrace the bombs. Look at how many bombs you got here. You got 28 and a, a recurring supply. It's a renewable resource in your world. I should not have strayed so far from God's light. Thank you. Helpful. Very helpful. Should be pretty apparent at this point that, like, this run, it's cursed. The chances of us winning grow, like, lower by the day. So many times, it happens too fast. You trade your passions for glory. Don't lose your grip on the dreams from the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. And the uh, last known survivor hit R in the night because he wanted a damage upgrade. Never got it. Well, judgment. we don't care about the judgment payout. Why did I buy the card? Kind of a, a ballsy play, but also stupid. Um, it's trash. These are just trash items nonstop. It's nonstop trash. Get blown up. Thanks for the money. 15 cents, we'll buy this. Now, there we go, we got an item. Sorry, donation machine, you're kind of innocent. And yet at the same time, uh, I like really, really need champion belts. So like, I wish it didn't have to be like this. You're also kind of like a laundering service. Like you're turning my pennies into perfectly, you know, tax-free bombs. I really appreciate it. No. Champion belt. Okay, what do we get after that? Mama Mega. Here we go again. Not bad if we could get it, but we'd have to use it on this floor. And if we're using it on this floor, what's the point? You know, we're just going back to wooden nickel. We've already killed like half of this floor. Our damage is now better, but still pretty bad. Uh, let's hope that our item room can give us a little bit more to go on here, because this one is just uh, its in a weird place. Dude, the item rooms have been pretty horrible. Flies, please. Let's go. Because we're going to fight Mom now. Bobby Bob Bomb, you know, we're using Hobie Bombs. Ba 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 um, we, we got bombs. And we're going to be using a lot of them, apparently. So I'm happy that the bombs are going to be more effective. And yet at the same time, I would like to get more damage instead, or DPS or anything in that category, so that I uh, have an excuse not to use as many bombs as I've been using because it's kind of irritating. You know, they're explosive. Our tears have very little chance to hit us. We're not worried about uh, the negative on this one. This is a this is a Polaroid run. I guess we could have opened up Boss Rush by doing, uh, by getting Mama Mega, but like, at some point I just gotta ask you to have mercy. That was a really well handled room. Our stats are not becoming of a run that has any chance on Earth of becoming uh, 
a, a keeper win. What are you? Brimstone boy? What on earth? No! <laughs> This is the definition of my life. Lying in bed in the sunlight. Dude! My will was broken on that run before my HP died. Ugh. Well, we tried. And dude, we tried hard at that. We did our darndest and it didn't come through in the clutch. One of these days we're going to get an uncursed run. We're not going to get killed by a lemon and a lime stitched together. At the horizontal axis. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ugh.